So it's pleasant tonight. Temperatures start dropping into the 70s after midnight, ending up in the low 60s tomorrow morning. That should feel pretty nice. And then tomorrow afternoon, the high only around 80 degrees. Well, the next big thing that everybody's watching for the southeastern part of the US would be this tropical disturbance that's just north of South America as it moves out over the Caribbean in the next few days, moves into a highly favorable environment where the waters are very warm. There's very limited wind shear. It's just perfect for development, which is not necessarily a good kind of perfect. The conditions, we would rather them be much harsher than this, but this is the kind of thing you look for if you are expecting development, and that's why the National Hurricane Center has that number so high. It will not impact the weather here for the upcoming weekend, though. For Auburn and Missouri, a beautiful afternoon. Pleasant and warm. Temperatures should be in the low 80s at Jordan here by the time the game is over. For Vandy and Bama, by the time the sun goes down, we're already dropping into the low 70s by the end of that game. Should be a really nice one. High school football tomorrow. We're looking good. Temperatures should be in the 60s by the fourth quarter tomorrow night for Saturday. Warm and dry the high up to 87, so it does get pretty warm in the afternoon. But then look down the road here with this system potentially gigging at the Gulf of Mexico. As long as it stays to our south, the dry air hangs around here. We're forecasting a high at 78 next Thursday. All the rain with that system would likely miss us to the southeast. So if that pans out, uh, as expected right now, it certainly looks like we will have a very dry and cool end to next week.